another message from the Lord that is right in front of my very eyes, okay? It's a star on top of a tree, okay? Because Father is on top of Son, okay? Now remember, God ordained this in the crucifixion of Jesus, who is the Son of God, okay? The Son, which equals, which is a star, which equals Father, okay? was, of course, shining down, okay, upon the sun, which equals pole, which equals tree, okay? So the Father has always been above the sun, and perfectly so in every ordinance of heaven, okay, throughout history, okay? Um, so, when I am lying here, okay, and I look out my window, and there is an exceptionally bright star, Okay. Uh, for all I know, it could be a planet, but it looks very much like a star to me, and that's fine. So, star equals father, and it's perfectly, centrally, right on top, according to my vantage and the sovereignty of God, a tree, which equals sun. Okay. So, what's the message once again? Father is on top of the sun. Okay. Star on top of tree. And how many star above tree? And, and how many photographs and how many times has that vision come into the human eyeballs from the dawn of Eden? Like from the dawn of Adam and Eve, they looked up and they saw stars over the tops of trees in the night. Like, you know, there you go. Okay, so... Uh, well, I'm here to preach that gem once again. And the Lord has ordained like, you know, a robin to be on top of a tree and in a tree. Robin equals father, tree equals son. Okay. Same thing with the word nest. Okay. Um, but there, I just wanted to preach the word of the Lord to you right now. And it's that one has been happening from the dawn of Eden. Like for just over 6,000 years, creationscience.com, by the way. Read your Holy Bible. Its chronology is dead accurate, including the flood of Noah, but you must read creationscience.com to understand exactly how the flood of Noah happened um, and why everything on earth looks the way that it does today. It'll set you free like you wouldn't believe and shock the pants off all the stupid, idiotic evolution crowd and ridiculous people that think the earth is millions of years old. It's, it's all lies, okay? So, um, there it is, okay? So, star on top of tree. This vision has been ordained for human eyeballs since the dawn of Eden. Every human who has ever lived has frequently seen stars on the tops of treetops throughout their life. Okay, so star equals night equals father. He's on top. Tree equals sun, as in Jesus, the son of the father, eternally past, like the Holy Trinity from eternity past. Okay, so... There, I just want to preach on that gem because everyone has seen that. Billions of humans have seen that. I'm here for the English Gematria revelations from God, in part, amongst other things that I feel led to say. Okay, so star equals father because he's on top, tree equals sun. Now, if you study the crucifixion scene of Jesus and realize that there was, and you read scholars by historians of that time, God ordained an amazing darkness, okay, over the sun, uh, whether or not it was a natural solar eclipse or not, you can discover for yourself. God willing, okay? But uh, know for a fact there was a dramatic sign with the sun, okay, um, in the very hours of Jesus, who was uh, crucifixion on the cross, okay? So just another, a very dramatic demonstration. Star equals father. And the son equals father plus half a father, because father is on top and was always on top when Jesus, the Son, was on the cross. And God did this again at Jesus' birth. When the Son of God first came into the world, how was he highlighted to the wise men with a star? The Christmas story, they said, we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And the star actually went before them. So again, from the very beginning of Jesus' life, right up until the crucifixion, Okay, star equals father. Father was on top. Okay. Father was on top, and certainly in all, you know, by the way, science equals father. Uh, from what we know of modern science, stars are 
huge, like they are massive. So not only is the father on top, but he's bigger than we can all, anyways. Um, so, uh, and then at Jesus' crucifixion, okay. Um, okay, the son, okay. Uh, you know, he was crucified during the daytime. He breathed his last at around 3 p.m. It was the ninth hour of the day. There was darkness over the land. But clearly the son, okay, was on the scene. So father in the background, as it were. But the father was in the sun the whole time. That's the amazing thing. Just like the nest is in the tree and the tree is in the nest because the nest is made from the branches of the tree. So father is in son, son is in father. Jesus said, the father is in me and I am in the father. He who has seen me has seen the, has seen the father. So that's very deep for you, okay? Um, but the Lord gave me that message at Trinity Western University one day where there was a robin in a tree. And the Lord had prepared me for this message because he'd given me a robin that was on top of a pole. So Father was on top of the Son first, and then the Lord gave me the vision, or the, the, the thing in front of my eyes, a robin in a tree. The Father is in the Son. Like, God the Father is in the Son. And then, even better, the nest is in the tree, and the tree is in the nest. Okay, Father's in the Son, and the Son is in the Father. Okay. Um, but, okay... Um, there you go. Okay, uh, father on top of son. So Jesus' birth was marked with a star. Father equals star, father on top. Okay, as the son came into the world, same thing at his crucifixion. The son, okay, was on top in the background of Jesus' crucifixion, and it underwent a dramatic sign. Most believe it was an, a natural solar eclipse. Um, but the Bible says there was a darkness over the land until the third hour. Um, and uh, that was God the Father at work, of course, and he was doing dramatic things with the Son because the Son equals Father, half a Father, and Star equals Father. And he was demonstrating to the whole world forever that his Son, the second member of the Holy Trinity, was literally on the cross in front of people's eyes. Um, and... Um, by the, ba by the way, when Jesus was laid in a manger as a baby, guess what? Manger equals father. <laughs> so the father's name is everywhere in relation to the son and providing for the son. So Jesus, and now you understand why Jesus had to be born in a stable. So that he was laid in a manger, which equals father. So the father was beneath him, okay, while there's a star overhead, you know, marking where he lives and where he's born, star equals father. Furthermore, the father was always in the son, as Jesus said, I am in the father and the father is in me. So you talk about revelations about the nativity and nativity scenes at Christmas time from the dawn of, you know, uh, Christ's visitation. Okay. You have a baby in a manger, which equals father. There's a star directly overhead, which equals father. Furthermore, the Father is in the baby because Jesus said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. It's like the Holy Trinity. <laughs> like, and then you've got, you know, Joseph and Mary. You've got, you know, the biological, you know, just temporary, you know, earthly father, you know, just right there. I mean, like, how much more father do you want, like, screaming at you in the whole birth story of Christ? <laughs> just like... Wake up, class. I mean, it's, it's, it's time for everyone to convert to Christianity immediately across the world for your own salvation, um, home in heaven, and all the infinite gifts of God. Um, okay. So there's the joyful sunrise with the colors that all divide by five. Gray, cream, white, blue, orange. It'll probably throw pink in there soon. Um... But that, my friends, is a star on top of a tree, also known as a father on top of a son. And God did this at the crucifixion. There was a star on top of a tree. God the Father, which is to say, okay, declared by the sun, its on topness and its centrality in the solar system, was visibly on top of the tree, the cross, the pole. See that? Father on top of Son, iconically at the crucifixion, and of course he always is spiritually, he was also inside the Son spiritually, 
and uh, you know another beautiful metaphorical sign physically from the Lord just outside my window. That, my friends, is a lone, glaring, bright star perfectly vertically on top of trees. Okay. Amazingly, this word just came to me, it just speaks of the fact that there is one father and there are many sons. So when you think about the, the sun, which is the official star that uh, fuels all life on earth and allows all the trees to grow. Well, the Bible says, and by, by the way, the word trees equals sons. I believe this is a revelation from God right now. Jesus is the firstborn of many brethren. Jesus says that we get to call him brother. We are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. So sons equals trees. But guess what? There's one father that grows us all and is on top of us all and is at the center of all the worship. Father, which is the icon of the son, or rather the son is the icon of the father, because remember, star equals father, and the son equals father plus half a father. Now I have to hit this really hard to you, so you get this convincingly. Put the word the on top of the word son. The bookends perfectly spell the word nest, as in to say, nest equals father and tree equals son. The father is in the son and the son is in the father. What's left over down the center of the son is H-U, which is the other half of father. It's perfectly satisfying. And if you're really good and you study the anagrams of the word nest, they all make sense to glorify father. Okay? One anagram is the word sent. Jesus said over and over again, he who sent me is true, referring to father. Father equals sent equals nest. Okay? Another anagram is tens. Okay. Always think of God's creation first. Okay. <laughs> there are tens on top like you wouldn't believe. When all humans in the world lift their hands to heaven and worship God, that's a lot of tens being the highest part of human bodies, like trees we are, reaching our hands to heaven in worship like the trees do. Okay. And all of, you know, all the, the gematria in Hebrew and Greek and the whole new mathematical systems of the world are all based on tens, okay, because Father is on top and also undergirds everything in the universe. Math undergirds all the sciences. It's also above everything in the sciences. Okay, so it's, it's not hard. Uh, the whole world runs on tens. Um, okay, and then finally, nets. Okay, nets go on top. Okay, when people catch fish, um, nets go on top because Father is on top and all the rest of it, okay? Um, and uh, the truth be told, the Father is the one in the Lord of the harvest, as Jesus said. How do you harvest fish from the ocean? Well, using nets. Nets equals Father, okay? That is a metaphor for people getting saved in the harvest of God in, in Jesus' name. But who is in charge of the harvest? Jesus told us. He said, pray ye the Lord of the harvest, that is to say the Father, that he may send forth labors into his harvest, okay? So, Jesus said, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Okay? It's amazing. So, nets equals father, okay? And he's the one. Father is on top, yada, yada, okay? So, I just, I always want to, um, okay, capture the scene right now and how it speaks to us, okay? So, see that? So, there's one father who is on top of many sons. So there's one son at the center of the solar system that powers and grows all the trees in history. Trees equals sons. And star equals father. And the son equals father plus half a father. And I walked you through how beautiful the letters the son is. Again, the on top of son, the bookends, equal father, the word nest, the leftovers, H-U, at the center, equals 29, the other half of Father. Very satisfying. Or if you just want to pull out three teams that parallel the 29, okay, uh, be my guest. It's like T-S is 29 plus 10, and then E-N is 29 minus 10, and in the middle is H-U, 29, perfectly. You know, I told you tens rule the universe, tens equals Father. Is it just me, or has God really, in a bang, 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 declared Father is on top whenever someone says, the Son? And then noon equals Father, 
12 equals father, half a father, 12 noon equals father, father, half a father, 12 p.m. equals other, double father, night equals father, so when you say midnight, that equals godfather. Like, it's, it's obvious, okay? So the sun equals father, half a father, which is always on top and always at the center of the solar system, God, okay? But, and sun, the sun is a star, it's the most important star to all of us, so star equals father. But the, now the deep revelation and the main message is this. There is one Father, just like there is one Son, okay, that grows all of the trees on planet Earth. One Father, many sons. Isn't that amazing? Jesus said, you are all sons of God through faith in me, Christ Jesus. Jesus, the firstborn, Jesus said, you get to call me brothers, okay? Or you get to call me brother, excuse me. Um... Um, so, that's amazing. So, quickly, star equals father, trees equals sons. And I'm referring to the sun when I say star. So, plus sun equals father plus half a father, trees equals sons. There's one father, tons of sons. I am one of the sons of the father. Adopted, okay, which divides by five the number of joy, which equals delight, which equals beloved which equals rejoice. So I am adopted. I am now a son of God through my faith in Christ Jesus. There. All that came to us through one sight from God. Okay. A star on top of trees, also known as a father on top of sons. Done. I've just pr Revealed the gematria for you. And and then again, okay, far more significantly is the sun, <laughs> which is the star that grows and powers all of the trees on earth today from the past and for all time. One father, many sons. Wow. There it is. This incredible revelation from God in gematria. Done. It's just, so now it's time for the whole world to repent, okay, of their non Christianity and every ounce of neglecting the Bible and the words of Jesus like you wouldn't believe. Repent and start seeking the true God and reading your Bible and the words of Jesus today.